one of the ways that I think that I, where I could feel I could really trust Tom was that I'd seen how musically proficient he was, which is something that perhaps I've overlooked and other people might not have told you about, is that he really does know music, and much more than I had any grasp of. And so in those days, whenever I thought I had an idea or I wanted to record something, I would always think of Tom first, above doing it on my own, definitely, and above anybody else that I'd ever met. There are my principles in one form or another. <laughs> <laughs> By the 80s, the method of recording starts to change yet again. And we're not recording analog anymore. We are storing information digitally, which is a much purer, much simpler form of capture and easier to reproduce. The musicians today have changed their form of expression because a musician today can walk around and for hours perfect, listen to something, record something, play it back, say I want to change it, play it, play it, play it, play it. And finally, with the aid of computers, they can say I want to use this note from here, I want this sound over here, and shake and bake, reassemble it in any configuration so that the whole creative form of expression has a new horizon made available by the fact that there is now digital capture. The thing that has stayed the same all through it is music as a form of expression. <laughs>